Hi and welcome to Warframe. I thought we'll just quickly cover some of the upcoming changes to the Warframes themselves before the update actually hits so people can get ready for this. So basically what's going to happen is these four ability slots around the outside will be disappearing. So they'll be gone and they'll be gone. They will also be dropping two of the ability slots at all. I mean, not the ability slots, <laughs> the mod slots. So there will only be eight, nine including the aura. The aura is staying. So two of these will be gone, but all abilities will also be gone. So all the abilities, these mods will no longer exist. They are being dropped from the drop table and replaced in the game itself so if you have lots of them they're going to go as a weird example here we have ember who i did three times to get rid of the three abilities i actually completely removed this one so she has one ability slot it doesn't actually say which two they're going to get rid of though but by everything that it says in there if you format out the ability slots then yeah, technically you should get that many formats back. So if you've taken two out over here, you should get two former back. If you've taken out all four, you should get four former. But as I said, it's talked about a lot more in the link in the description below. There is a lot of pages about that, to be honest. So what does this mean about the existing abilities? Well, what will happen, and we're back with Nova because Nova has a great example of this. She's one of the only ones I kept the abilities on, hence Nova. Uh, what will happen is the four abilities, even if you format them out, will now become part of the Warframe. You will always have all four abilities. But to level the abilities up, it will not be a case of starting with a unmodded mod and then leveling it up using, using fusion cores. It will now level up through use. So the more you use that ability, the quicker it will actually level up. This type of menu system, this was an example on the live stream when they announced this on Friday. This will basically be, you can see the progress bar per ability, but all four abilities will be there. This is going to be a good thing because there is Warframes who have good first abilities, but they they have better secondaries or you want to fit in a certain mod and it means having to sacrifice one of the abilities. This is why Nova is one of the only ones we kept all four because I like using all four of her abilities. Most of my other frames I've formatted some out and I've always regretted that because it, it, it shortens the use of that uh, frame's ability. Frost, I use Frost all the time, he's a prime example here. We dropped his first and second ability. So freeze and ice wave. Well, there you go, ice wave. It's an unmodded mod because I never used it. As soon as formas came in, we dumped them two abilities straight away. And we just to be able to fit this kind of build in, so we've only got two abilities here. It now means the freeze and ice wave will be built into the frame and locked into the frame. You won't be able to get rid of them. And I think this will actually work out for the better because, well, as I said before, it means all four abilities will be available at all time. So as an example, we threw on a, a melee weapon. This will not be a stance, it'll obviously be an aura mod. And then you will have the eight normal slots to be able to put the abilities in. This will make a lot of people very happy because it means a lot of Warframes will become a lot more powerful because you won't have to sacrifice something like health and shields for an ability. The abilities will always be there. Anyway, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.